Morning. I want to talk to you about this TV program coming up on the BBC about the hip hop scene. It's, it's fine. But now, you've got to understand the relationship. It's so ironic that the BBC are doing it. I just find it hilarious. Because this is a TV channel that hasn't had a very, very good relationships uh, relationship with its African American and West Indian people. Uh, Patronising it was another. It's just another phenomenal world. Dusty Springfield, in the early in the early part of the sixties, hounded and hounded and hounded the BBC. The Motown lot are coming over. Why don't we give them a, on the lock steady, uh, ready, steady, go program? And they were very, very dubious. They didn't like it at all because they were black. And you, you, you know, uh, uh, there's a story of uh, Sammy Davis Jr. getting into the green uh, in the main bar at the uh, 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 BBC. And the security guard said, he can't come in. He's black. This is Sammy Davis Jr. You know, in the height of his career, you know. Hello! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the attitude. So Sandy Short, uh, Sussy Springfield finally got it. Finally got it. But she had to perform with every act. Okay, so that's that's your relationship. Um, the factor that Chris Blackwell and Whispering Bob Gass of Old Grey Whistle Test in nineteen seventy three is the reason Bob Marley and the Wailers played on there. You know, reggae was at a massive height for that time. It was getting big, and Bob was getting really big. Uh, so the relationship with the BBC and that. This is the same channel that said, I, I, I see, oh, he's a wrong one, and, 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 and slagged every one of them off and put them down and deemed them criminal. When the Beastie Boys came over and saw Britain, ticket sales were down. And I know they're a white bunch of guys. So the American promoter said, what's going on? And he said, uh, the British one went, well, I don't know, I don't know, we're, we're smashing. And he went, I've got an idea. And he phoned, and they got people to phone the BBC, the IT, uh, ITV, uh, all the newspapers. Oh, these are bad boys. And it was on BBC News. They're getting off the plane. And instead of doing that, they're doing this. And it was just like, it was advertising. The BBC deemed it bad. These bad boys are bad. They'll be hell all about. And there wasn't. There were three Jewish middle class kids that liked hip hop. You know, they, they deem it bad always. But once then they, they realised there was money, there was money in it, then they got on board. And that's the only reason the BBC ever get on board with anything music right when there's money you gotta understand Ireland it wasn't if Chris Blackwell uh, didn't uh, didn't go to uh, uh, Jamaica on his honeymoon you probably wouldn't have heard of Bob Marley in a way if you did it very light uh, Ireland Records was a blues you know, the blues and rock and folk they were very white. They didn't understand them. Try and find the first recording of the Bob Marley and the Whalers of Ireland. It's hilarious. So, BBC, yeah, come on. Are you going to mention all that? Are you going to mention all your racism? Peace, love and out.